The last 20 years or so has been an amazing time in terms of how much we've learned from the collective experience of looking at cancers and their genetics, and this is a whole global effort. I think the new technologies for following patients are going to reduce the amount of time patients are on treatment that isn't working and increase their availability of new drugs. We need to push our limits of what we can do and what we know. The only way to really advance our knowledge is to push forward in laboratories, keep thinking about novel approaches, novel mechanisms. We cannot stand still. I think this culture of risk-taking is part of our DNA at Stanford. The reason that Stanford has been able to contribute so much and has so much potential for contributing even more is because we look at problems from a new perspective and that is so important at advancing science and advancing clinical care. Knowing that every time I pipette, every time I write a script, every time we run something, there could be an impact on somebody else, that's huge to me. Every second for which we sit at our bench, we work towards our larger goal of bringing improved cancer care for patients. And I feel like that's what we work for. We are at a critical point in the history of cancer now. And so I think that over the next five years, what we need to do is stimulate the translation of our basic understanding of cancer to apply that understanding to patients, to detect cancer earlier, prevent cancer before it's become a clinical problem, and treat the most advanced cases of cancer more effectively.